Okay, so um, <clears throat> another example of an equation that um, is going to involve two steps to solve. Remember, um, in previous video I shared with you that we're trying to figure out what number was thrown into the x bucket. Uh, well, I'm just showing you how to follow, how to solve this equation. Uh, 3 x, negative 3x plus 2 equals 23. Um, in this case, the first operation that happened to x was multiplication, and then that was taken and 2 was added. Well, in this equation, it's kind of reversed. In this equation, um, the number thrown in the bucket that we're trying to figure out, whatever it is, 2 was added to it. And then that sum was multiplied by negative 3. And the result is negative 15. So let's uh, start with x in the box, which we could at least point, think about as the bucket. And the number in the bucket was added to add two was added to the number in the bucket. And we don't know what the result of that was because we don't know what the number in the bucket is yet. But after 2 was added, after 2 was added, remember order of operations, we have to do that grouping first. Um, and then that was multiplied by negative 3. And the result of that combination of operations is negative 15. Now, we want to figure out what number was thrown in the bucket. So we've got to back up and undo those operations that were done in the reverse order. So we've got to undo this multiplication by negative 3. And of course, that's going to happen by, we can do that by dividing by negative 3. And negative 15 divided by negative 3, negative divided by negative is positive. So that's 5. And now we need to undo, uh, now we know what, what happened? What we had by adding two to the number in the bucket, adding two to the number of the bucket got five. So to find out what number in the bucket what is, um, we subtract two to undo the adding two inverse operations again. So the number in the bucket is five minus two, which is three. And so now we'll check that. And I just realized that I didn't. Uh, modify the check when I copied and pasted for this example. So rather than rather than rewrite the whole thing, I'll just do this. Oops. All right, so we, in place of the variable, we're going to put the solution that we have found, which is 3. And, oh, that's negative 15 there, not 15. I mistyped. So we'll follow the order of operations. The 3 plus 2 is grouped here. So we've got 5, so that's negative 3 times 5. And does that equal negative 15? Of course it does. Negative 15 equals negative 15. You bet. So we have correctly solved this equation. We know now that the number in the bucket was 3.